welcome back to my channel. I have a scrapbooking layout for you. I am using a um, Paige Evans cut file. That This is like the hanging light bulbs with the bouquets. And I am using my August scrapbookingstore.com kit, which is fe featuring Echo Park's Good Day Sunshine collection. And it's a bright, fun, colorful um, collection. And I use the darker navy blue floral paper to do the cut file in. And that took a little bit of effort taking it off my mat. I think I used too much spray adhesive on areas, and so it kind of got mangled, but I do rescue it. And then this plaid, like it's blue and cream plaid um, for the background. I love the contrast, and I thought it worked really well together. So now I was just deciding on which photo I wanted to use, and I do like this one, um, the one that you just saw me use. So that will be in the final... Uh, layout and I do cut it into a square and so now I'm just using my fine liner that has scotch tacky glue inside to adhere it down and now this is also a little bit lesson learned because I took the time obviously to do the whole lay uh, cut file but if you wanted any of these pieces like overlaying your picture I would not obviously glue it down all the way because <laughs> I had a hindsight after I had laid it down and then like wanted placement and I was like ooh you know like it would have been fine having like these leaves overlay the picture but I glued it all down as one piece and so that um, option got taken away from me so just were not you know no to self in case you want to give this a uh, simple layout a try and what's always interesting too when I use cut files they're gorgeous they obviously um, kind of dictate the layout format for where your photo is going to go. Um, but it also keeps, you know, the rest of whatever you have to do for your layout to a minimum because there's already so much that's intense going on with this layout um, just with the cut file alone. So for this one, it stayed on the simpler side for me. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I always like to embellish and do mixed media. And for this one, I didn't have to take it there. It was very... Um, easy to come together and so I'm just putting my picture on a white um, cardstock background. Um, it's a good border, just wanted it to pop. And then I'm going to start using stickers from the sticker sheet. This is included in the collection with Echo Park as most Echo Park collections have. So I definitely took out all of the floral elements um, from it because I'll probably do another layout where I'll use all these like summery beachy uh, swimsuit and popsicle uh, themed <laughs> um, elements uh, later. Um, the kit also in, uh, features those two packs of kind of buttons and then the brads that are like an aqua color and I do use those as well on this layout. I do pop my picture up on fun foam and then I will put a piece of fun foam behind those clusters of flowers because I want them elevated too. I thought I wanted to tuck them behind but I did have them side, it's kind of side by side with my photo which I did like in the end. And then I like the little uh, banner uh, that said, I heart summer. So I put that on the top and then like, kind of like the little banner of flip flops underneath my photo. And then the little um, actual banner says like happy times in the sun or something like that um, with red. So I like these elements because it adds a pop of color on top of like the navy and blue I have going on in the background. And then, like I said, I use the buttons, sporadically tuck them behind and I will add, uh, like glue them all down uh, with some tacky glue from inside my fine liner again and then for my title these stickers also came in the kit for the month and while I do like the rainbow colors I was looking at the letters and I wanted to make sure I had enough of any of the blue uh, letters or like you know light blue and aqua to form the word love because I didn't want to use any of the red or the yellow and so it looks, you know, hindsight looking at it now I wish I would have used the colored letters because it blends into the background a little bit too much Plus, it would have added to the pops of color from the stickers, but it does look nice um, the way it turned out in the end regardless. So if you do this and you use the colorful layout, uh, letters, it would look just as wonderful. Um, and so, yeah, I think that does keep it at a minimum. I don't think I add journaling to this, um, but maybe I'll go back and do it. <laughs> I hope you were inspired to use a cut file from this um, Layout, thank you for joining me as always, and close-ups will be coming up short, uh, shortly. Thank you for joining me. Bye, everyone.